Hello everyone, this is Joe, Four Soft Corners here. And for today's video, I'm doing a video contest response for um, Adam over at Splendid Sports Cards. And um, first off, before I get into the response, just wanna say, um, I mean, I would guess if anybody watches my videos that they're also already watch Adam's, but if not, um, definitely go and check him out and subscribe. Um, just his personal content as far as the cards and stuff he shows is always great and then <clears throat> the main focus of his channel pretty much is a series he does called three and three where um he has guests on and it's an opportunity to kind of you know spotlight some people and get to know some channels that maybe you don't and uh he has his guests show three cards, uh, three of their favorite cards in their collection, and three cards that they, uh, on their want list, um, that they're looking to pick up, so, definitely always very entertaining, and got to learn a lot more about a lot of different channels through this, and, um, just always a great resource for that, and just always very entertaining and fun to watch, so, like I said, um, if you're not subscribed please go subscribe to him and then second he's also doing a contest now that's called the rifleman uh vr and basically just to show off um some of the guys who had the best outfield arms ever and um i likewise um i mean everybody loves home runs and <clears throat> you know, robbing home runs are great defensive plays but there's just something about when the outfielder gets a ball and um, you know it looks like there's no chance like to close the gap between how close like the player is to the runner is to a base whether he's going home or trying to leg out a double or go to third or something and just to see an absolute rock of an arm a leash a missile to the <laughs> to the bag to <clears throat> to put him out is just always really fun to watch so um so for this, I, I picked five guys, and I wanted to pick, um, I mean, there's some obvious choices of all-time guys, um, and some of these are obvious. I'm not going to say much about some of them. I wanted to highlight some of the ones that I haven't heard mentioned much, but um, I just wanted to pick players that I have personally um, seen play. So, sorry, Billy Butler, you did not have a rocket of an arm <laughs> uh first like i said not much to have to be said about some of these um just wanted to show off this each row this is don't have a rookie his but this is his second year 2002 tops with the rookie cup um so i mean obviously a great arm <clears throat> um forget who they're playing but there's a I know there's a clip of him making a throw from right field and throwing somebody out at third and I, I don't know if the ball ever went five feet above the ground like it was just that straight of a shot right to the third baseman's glove so again not much to be said but just wanted to show off this Vladimir Guerrero and this is from I always I always forget what this is from. <laughs> I think it's uh, 2000 Upper Deck Legendary Signatures. So a nice on-card auto there. Again, not <clears throat> much needs to be said, but just absolute cannon of an arm. And so this guy, I believe I've only seen um, Mike from uh, Sexton's Kentucky Cardboard showed this guy off um, and I, I did a video response for Eddie's Cardboard Chaos also featuring this guy so um, <clears throat> I have a couple cards here including the one I showed for that but I also wanted to say some of this is gonna kind of double as um, I'm gonna show some stuff afterwards um, for one of the cards I, I picked up of a guy it was just a recent LCS purchase, so some of these are as well. And then afterwards, I mean, <clears throat> Adam, if you want to stop watching, then I just have a couple other singles from 90s stuff that I just wanted to show off. But just so happened, um, I didn't necessarily pick these up on purpose because of this, but it just so happened like it fit in with it. 
Um, so this is Rick and Keel. So, um, you know, just this story is great. I mean, it was a great rookie pitcher. Um, and then just completely unraveled on the biggest stage possible in the playoffs against the Braves and just never recovered from it as a pitcher. Tried coming back numerous times and essentially was ready to give up and then was approached to, if he wanted to change positions and <clears throat> ended up trying out the outfield and uh, came back and was a fairly successful outfielder and just lost all of his control on the mound, but just watch any clips of him making throws. I mean, the catcher basically just holds the his glove up and the ball lands in it. Um, it's just really fun to watch and great comeback story. So those were some new pickups. I mean, <clears throat> those were all basically like dime pickups. And then this picked up a few weeks ago is the autograph from 2019 Topps Allen and Ginter. And <clears throat> this is a guy I was trying to think of um, some different people and literally almost, I thought oh, I'll just show off four guys and <clears throat> almost like an hour or two before I shot this video, I just happened to think of this guy and remember how great of an arm he had. And this is literally the only card I could find of him at all. So this is just a 2013 top space card, but this is Jeff Francoeur. Um, most known for, I mean, he was, <clears throat> I believe him and Brian McCann came up at the same time, or at least through the minors at the same time. Um, so most known for the Braves, but then actually played for the Phillies for a stretch and the Mets and the Royals here. I think there's another team, but I can't think of them, but um, it's the guy I always... <clears throat> thought it was really fun to watch play and like I said <clears throat> I remembered his arm being great and then watched a couple videos of highlights and it was really great <laughs> um, and you know when it was with the Phillies they, they were getting blown out by the Orioles in a game and um, they brought him on the pitch I think he topped out at 89 on the radar gun so and then lastly <clears throat> this is another guy I'm pretty certain I have not seen featured in anybody's video. But, um, like I said, <clears throat> some of these maybe are not all-time great arms, but just guys that I wanted to give some love to that I haven't seen yet. And um, I thought of this guy before I went to the LCS, and I was at the LCS, and I saw this, and it was just kind of perfect, so I picked this up. Um, I loved watching this guy play, and this falls right in line with my kind of autograph side PC I'm doing with just fan favorite type guys that you know weren't quite Hall of Famers but were great players and <clears throat> this is from last year's top chrome tops chrome platinum anniversary. This is the Jay Buner. If anyone has any questions about his arm just ask Frank Costanza. Um how upset he was that the Yankees traded him away. And uh, there's your answer. It's a little inside joke from Seinfeld, if anybody is a Seinfeld fan. But, um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I mean, saw lots of people break these and show off these cards and definitely had some issues with centering and stuff in the set. And, I mean, I know it's a huge set. As far as to try and hit, to break something and try and hit certain players out of packs, but the autographs are very well done on card, and this one's centered great. So, <clears throat> like I said, it was just a really fun player to watch, and just again a guy that had an absolute cannon, and I think overshadowed 
or many maybe you know test him just because of, I mean he played most of his career in right field next to Ken Griffey Jr. in center field and uh, I think was always just kind of forgotten about because of that but um, I could throw a baseball from the outfield so um, so thank you Adam um, for this contest uh, like I said if anybody is not subscribed to Adam's channel uh, the link will be in the title and in the description and um, if you I just have another probably minute or two here showing off cards so if you just want to cut off here the VR is done but I just picked these up at the same time as the um, Dan Keel cards in the Buner. but um, thank you Adam for this contest and uh, reason to watch and make some cool videos so <clears throat> so these are just a bunch of random like 90s type pickups well here's another Vlad Guerrero and Tony Gwynn from Topps this is insert Topps Noteworthy um, this is from Upper Deck this is the Hip Brigade insert and here I have Sammy Sosa Mark McGuire Barry Bonds, nothing bigger, um, you know, really rare or anything here, but just cool 90s cards I always love seeing, There's upper deck faces of the game, Mo Vaughn, I'm probably in the minority, I think most people absolutely hate these uniforms, I actually kind of like them, I don't, I, I just kind of like that logo, I don't know, um, a couple Randy Johnson pickups here from Upper Deck MVP, Pure Grit, and then Donruss Originals here. Um, these are from 96 SP. These are marquee matchups. These don't line up, but um, I'm pretty sure there's die cut versions of these also. And I think there were also like box toppers that were the full card with them together, but there's a Jeff Bagwell and Greg Mannix. And then, let's see. Okay. There's another Greg Mannix, all tops NL team. This is from Upper Deck. This is Hot Commodities, John Smoltz. <clears throat> a lot of these are, especially from the late 90s, I, I stopped about 97, 98 collecting as a kid. So, I mean, a lot of these were cards I didn't have the opportunity to get as a kid. And some of these I've never seen before. So, this is from Stadium Club. This is Diamond Pearls. Nomar Garcia Parra. Barry Bonds. Um, here's just from, this is a Topps Finest. Juan Rodriguez, but I always love those the different subsets and I think this was 96, right? No, 97. 96 had some different subsets in too. This from 2000 EX, just a couple base cards I found, but I mean again, these are base cards and just look how great they look. There's Tom Glavin. Another Randy Johnson, Pudge, Samoa Vaughn, Palmero, and Bagwell. And then this is a Bowman's Best, Best Bets die cut from 2000 of Pat Burrell. Pat the Bat. It has some nice shine on it. A cool die cut. And then, <clears throat> these are cards I would, I just, I don't know. This is 99 Upper Deck Ionics, and whenever I see these, I just always think these are really cool. Here's another Pat Burrell, Futuristics. And just a base card. Or actually, this might be an insert. I think there's an insert techno of Tony Gwynn. Whenever I see these cards, I usually just pick them up and wouldn't mind putting somewhat of a set together if I could. But uh, 
So that's it. That's it for the pickups and like I said the the VR. Um, again, I'll leave the links down below. Um, go check out Adam. Um, have some time you'll have to enter his contest. Um, thank you everyone for watching. And just remember, any card can be a great looking card, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.